I believe that we need to do is start focusing on uh, the customer service interface, whether it's machines or people or whatever it is that uh, customers are, are dealing with. This could be the ATM machine for a bank. Uh, for a company like Amazon, it's pretty much all uh, technology. It's not people. For a company like Nordstrom, it's very much about people. But to focus on that, all those uh, areas where the company comes in contact with customers and to start optimizing to make those uh, better experiences. Let's say, you know, you could start with a call center. You know, you could start, I mean, there's, I mean, the first step with a call center would be to stop looking at it as a cost and start looking at it as marketing. And not marketing, I mean, no, nothing is more irritating when you call a company with a problem and the first thing they do is try and sell you something. Uh, while you're waiting to talk to someone who could solve your problem, can I sell you something else? Well, that's, I mean, that's not, I don't mean marketing in that sense. I mean marketing in the sense of, you know, uh, empowering the first person that the customer talks to and starting to, and creating the tools that lets that person really solve the problem. So instead of saying, uh, having, you know, I take your call and, and, and you have a problem, and I say, well, actually, that's a different department. I've got to transfer you. Well, if the knowledge to solve your problem exists within the company, why can't you empower that customer service rep to access that information? Why can't you shield the customer from all that complexity by giving them one person to talk to? Now, if I can, if I can shuffle you over to the fraud department and the fraud department can solve your problem, why can't I have that conversation with the fraud department and solve it and just tell them it's been solved? Why do I have to force you to do that? Well, the reason that I have to do that now is because the company doesn't count your time as a cost that matters. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, your time doesn't matter to the company, and that's obvious to you. And what are you going to do? Well, you're going to leave and go find a company that, you know, does a better job. 